Hello, everyone. Let's talk about marriage. I think some people get married for, I guess, the, the look or should I say the honor or like the whole process in getting married. I think some people get married because of the attention and the look factor of marriage. You know, I think some people have an idea of what they believe marriage is about. And maybe they read some romance books. Maybe they have looked at so many romance videos and they may desire their their image of what they believe what marriage is about i believe and let me say this you may um disagree with this but i think from how from how many people are now i think many people should not get married because i think many people aren't willing to go by the rules the Bible has set for marriage. So if marriage is a God-ordained relationship, you have to go by his rules. You can't get into something that was created for a certain purpose and make your own rules. Please listen. How can I make something and you have to go by these rules for it to work right and you choose to go your own way and get confused why it isn't working in the right way so let's go to first peter chapter three and we may let's go there and let's start at verse one likewise ye wives be in subjection to your own husbands and you may say well kevin you know i don't want to submit to a man you know my dad um never treated us right so i fear if i submit to another man he may hurt me you know i don't want to submit to the man i am going to marry because you know, he might be too controlling or whatever else. Listen now. If you believe a man is going to misuse you or mistreat you, don't marry him. Like, how simple is that? If you believe someone is not going to be a good wife or a good husband why are you going to marry them if you don't want to go by the rules why even get married you want your marriage to work right so how can you go contrary to biblical rules please listen so likewise you wives just being together in a marriage doesn't particularly mean your marriage is happy I believe you can be married and separated. Likewise, ye wives be in subjection to your own husbands. Okay. So, women, you have to submit to your husband. And if you don't want to do this, don't get married. Right? This is only for for in this aspect this is for women who are married that if any obey not the word they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives so some people may say that they should only obey their husbands if they are a servant of god 
That is not true. Now, if your husband tells you to kill yourself or to do something to harm yourself, of course, don't do it. If your husband is telling you to do something that is going to put you in jail, don't do it. But in general, you have to obey whether he is a servant of God or not. So pretty much what this is saying here, by you going by the Bible and submitting to him, even though he may not be serving God right now, through your obedience to God and how he set up marriage, there might be a chance that through that, he will change his mind and begin serving God. Am I telling you that right? Okay. So, the role, and some people may say that, um, well, this gives too much power to the man. And whether that is true or not, you have to take that up with God. The man is commanded to... I believe the man is commanded to take care of his wife, to love his wife, as Christ loved the church. So if you say, if you fully submit to your husband, he is going to take advantage of that, no. Well, I'm not saying that he won't, but the Bible says, commands husbands to love their wives. If you truly love someone, are you going to mistreat them? Are you going to take advantage of them? Are you going to misuse them? No. Does God do that to us? No. So a man who will misuse you, a man that is going to take advantage of you, is not loving you. So he is going against the commandment, a rule, I should say a rule, the rule of God. And I believe one of the disadvantages to that, I believe I forget exactly where it is. If you are not treating your wife right, your prayers are going to be hindered. And I pray <laughs> kind of often. I want my prayers not to be hindered. So that means I have to respect. I have to love my wife, love my wife correctly. Or as best as I know how. Let me say it in this way. I need to treat her right. I need to be good to her. I need to love her rightly. So you need to submit to your husband whether he serves God or not. God made man the head. And you may say, Kevin, I hear what you are saying. I see the scriptures, but I am still going to do what I am going to do. And you will reap what you sow. And I believe you are looking for, you may be looking for this perfect marriage, but you may believe it should get perfect without you placing effort in it for it to get there. How can you, it doesn't make any sense to me. You want something to change for the better, but you are doing things that is making it bad. You are, you may be listening to 
your friend over here, your friend over there telling you, you know, if you submit, you know, you know the man is going to do this to you and do that to you. That is worldly advice. You need to go by what the Bible say. Whether the man takes advantage of you or not, you are obeying the Bible. By you obeying the Bible, you will reap what you sow. So even if harm may come to you from obeying God, you are okay. I hope you are understanding what I am saying. When is it ever okay for you to disobey God? God, I only disobeyed you because I knew that man was going to use me. God, I did not love my wife because I knew she only wanted money. It is never okay to disobey God. So you have to do what is right, even though you may not be treated well. I hope this makes sense. I believe we are all, all of, all adults. I believe all adults are accountable, as far as I know, accountable to God. So if we choose, if we know that we should do this and that, but for whatever reason, choose not to do it, and we are content in doing what is wrong, we have to answer to God about it. Not to say I am perfect, not to say I am the top elite Christian of the year, no. But I believe we have to answer to God if we choose to willingly and continuously disobey him without repentance. Let me stop here. God bless you.